Welcome to the Madness Continues podcast. This is your host, Brendan Lemon, of course. I'm, um, I hope you're doing all right. Hope you had a good holiday, good Memorial Day. It's been a little while since we were, you know, talking together, me and you and, uh, and, and the rest of us here, all, <laughs> all rest of us tuned in remotely. Um, I look crazy. I need to let you guys know that I look like I'm a crazy person with a huge beard, very, uh, I look like Saddam after he came out of the little spider hole. <laughs> if you're going to watch this on YouTube, you'll see me doing a different intro there and me talking it in and you will see what I'm talking about. Um, I haven't been in the gym in a while, which is why this conversation actually came about. I, um, I haven't been to the gym in a while. It's just been, it's been rough and hopefully you're, you know, listening at home, listening, in your iPod, doing something, your iPhone, whatever. That shows how old I am, I guess. But that's the impetus for this episode, actually. I um I follow uh, this guy, JJ Velasquez, on JJ, the fitness coach, on Instagram. I'll link him, obviously, in the show notes. And uh, I just got to say, he's a really motivating guy. He caused me to go out, do some workouts, have a good time. Uh, my whole body is sore. I should let you guys know from just the very simple workout that he he recommended I do. Uh, just using a bench, honestly. And I really dig this guy because there's a lot of people on, on Instagram, you know, influencers or whatever, who post a lot of, a lot of stuff, just all kinds of different things. They post, you know, uh, just, you know, things, you know what I'm talking about? And everybody's trying to build a brand out there. And the thing that I dig about this guy is he's, um, he's really passionate. That passion comes through in this conversation and it feels very authentic that like, He has this no excuses attitude, but it's not like a no excuses like, fuck you, get some fitness. (laughs) It's like a no excuses like, look, man, stay fit. You got to do it. Burn fat. Here's a bench. I'm going to do five exercises on it right now. And I did. And uh, my arms felt like they're going to fall off, which I mentioned a few times in this in this episode. So I really um, I hope you stay fit. I hope you're able to stay positive. He talks a lot about a positive mindset and uh, and really means it. And it's something that I've tried to 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 practice actually lately because all we got is ourselves really maybe you're sheltering in place with one other person but honestly it's just pretty much all we got is us over here so please uh please stay positive have a good mindset and uh without further ado here's a a guy who really motivated me who i enjoy following on instagram uh jj velasquez jj is at jj the fitness coach on instagram take it easy everybody Cool, there we go. I got it. I got it rolling, man. Uh we're we're uh we're we're recording. Uh Awesome. Yeah, hopefully this wasn't too much uh, of a hassle for you to get all set up here. No, it was all, no, no no problem at all. Um yeah, man. It was uh it's fun. It's fun connecting. It was a good conversation we had going earlier. Um, thank you again for taking the time to to jump on this thing. Yeah, of course, man. Looking forward to it. Thanks for having me on. Yeah. What's the What are the big Memorial Memorial Day weekend plans for you? Uh, catching up with work, getting in the gym. <laughs> you know. <laughs> are you able? Are you Nothing actually crazy. able to get? Or do you have a home gym? Uh, I have all the equipment I need. You know, to to do what I can. Right now, I'm kind of just uh, focusing on cardio. I mean, I do weights and stuff like that too, and just. You know, there is, there is like gyms I can go to and stuff too if I need to. Yeah. But I just, I mean, I mean, I know how to make it work with what I got, you know? Yeah. 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 That's, I, I feel like, uh, I just ordered, actually, this is cool. I should bring this up in the early in the, in the podcast. So I just ordered a, a, a steel mace, you know, and I, I it, like, uh, from on it.com. It's like this big freaking pole with a 15 pound weight at the end of it. And like, okay. <laughs> yeah, to do like, I guess to work out because I can't find kettlebells anywhere. Like I, yeah, I attempted okay. to go online to find like any weights anywhere, man, and I can't find a single thing. They're like they're all gone. So I instead I logged on and bought a a, a medieval weapon <laughs> to to go train in the park with. Yeah, gotcha. yeah. Well, hey, and I always tell everybody to focus on fat loss right now. I mean, there's so much people that I mean, unless you're super lean, you can focus on fat loss right now, get rid of a lot of that body fat. And then, you know, when the gyms open up and you have access to a lot more weights, we'll then start focusing on muscle again, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. So let's talk about that. So like one of the things I think is, 
it's interesting that I mean, so right now everybody's in the circumstance. So I should say for like my listeners and stuff. So how this all how this all happened and why we're all talking and stuff is that I was look I was basically figuring out I don't know what to do <laughs> right now because the gym was closed, like we were talking about. And I was like, shit, man, I don't know what to do. So I started following uh, some fitness stuff on Instagram, and you popped up. And I was like, man, this guy's like got this no excuse attitude. He's got this like challenge going on. And so literally in the park, I went, you posted something about working out on a bench and I did, and you did like five things. You like dips and like, you know, uh, like, uh, what tricep extensions and things like this. And I went and did it yesterday and I literally feel like my arms are going to fall off right now. (laughs) They're so sore. I was going to bed last night and my girlfriend was like, what? I was like, I passed out, man. I always slept like a baby from that workout. So um, so ostensibly, that's kind of why you're on here, and we're still going through this time of coronavirus and stuff, and uh, and all of your stuff on Instagram is just so positive, man. So I thought this would be a great uh, time to have a conversation about what people can do to stay fit, because I think it's on everybody's mind right now. Well, we'll talk about getting fit, but then let's talk about being positive, too, because that's, cause that's a whole other topic, and that's something that's, and that's actually one thing that I really took you know, to myself when I saw everybody... Cause I'm, I've just always been a positive guy, you know, I've just, I've seen tons, you know, tons of horrible stuff. I used to work in the medical field and all that mm-hmm. type of stuff. And it just made me really appreciate life. Always wanting to be positive. And I know when I have that positive mindset, it just, it makes everything better. And especially with this, with the coronavirus going on, everybody just kind of, whew, everything went negative, negative, negative. So I was like, man, I really need to even up the positivity. I need to just be getting people to think differently because when you turn on social media and all you see is negative news, negativity. Oh my God, what am I going to do? I lost my job. It's negative, 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 negative. So I was the one that's like, hey, you know what? Let's just stay positive. You know, use this time to spend time with your family. Use this time to better yourself. Use this time to learn. You never, you're never going to have a time like this again where you have so much free time. So use this wisely. And I was just always posing this positive stuff because I felt like I needed it and more people needed it as well. So now it's huge, you know? Well, I, dude, I think that's so meaningful because, like, it's so easy to get sucked down into it. Like, even I feel like I, you know, and 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 it's it, you're such an interesting guy. I think because um, one of the things that made me kind of want to connect with you, I guess, was that you, you you you're you're a big dude and you've got like all these tattoos and stuff. And then as soon as you start talking on your Instagram, you're like, this dude is so nice. Like he, he's like <laughs> he's so positive. He's so like. He's like, he, he's just so, he's putting all this like energy into the world. And that's actually, I think that's what caused me to want to be like, you know what? Just because I can't get into the gym, I'm just going to stay focused on trying to do something, something good. But like, but it's good that you're pumping that stuff out into the world because it, it does feel, it's, it's just like a really challenging time for anybody to like even find a reason to get up in the morning right now, man. And like, this is, I mean, I haven't, this beard should not be here, but this is an example of how I was like, <laughs> there's not even a reason to shave my face, man. Like... <laughs> And then uh, it w- it should be gone by now, but I bought that steel mace, and I'm like, I've, I'm gonna look like a Viking, so I have to. If I'm gonna exercise with this thing, I need to have the beard for a little while longer. But, um, but yeah, dude, I really appreciate you doing that, and to keep people positive. Like you posted recently about positive self talk, and if you want to talk about that for a second, I think that would be really good because it was it it was a good reminder for me that I was like, that's right, we need to like, you need to be in a practice of like reminding yourself that that there's good things even. Yeah. And that's one of the best things that you could do for yourself, whether it's fitness, business, whatever it is, you have to have a positive mindset. You have to always look at the end result, you know, where you're going to be. And then also you got to be positive because if you're the one that's like, Oh man, I can't do this. This is too hard. It's too stressful. You're putting all these negative thoughts. Well, that's exactly what you're going to create. But if you know what, if you, I always tell my clients and everything like that, you know, be proud of yourself for taking that step. Be proud of yourself for doing these workouts. Be proud of yourself for taking those steps to improve your life because there's lots of people that aren't, you know, and there's, you know, so it might be, and it, the thing is too with fitness, it's going to, it might be a little bit difficult at first because you're not used to stuff like that, but guess what? It gets easier and it gets easier and it gets easier. And then, you know, pretty soon six months down the line, you're like, man, like, look how far I've came. And that's the, the mindset you always have to take. You always have to be proud of yourself for taking those steps. And with, with fitness, it's, it's, it's a, you know, it's a long-term game. You, you're developing new lifestyle habits. You're changing your eating. You're doing stuff you never used to. So it's change, you know. They always say change is not comfortable. Change is, you know, sometimes people are scared to make those changes. But 
but it's one of the best things you could do for yourself and it's called growth when you're growing as a person and you know especially in fitness too you start developing this new confidence this new mindset you start believing in yourself more and it's like you really have to have that positive reinforcement whether it's you whether it's from yourself or whether it's from someone like me you know these, these, these coaches and stuff like that that's what we do that's what we try to instill in you guys is head like hey be proud of yourself you took that step let's keep the positivity going stop beating yourself up don't worry about what you look like right now you think about what let's let's track your progress and you know a month, month from now two months from now let's look at your progress again and you know it's just they really have to have that positive mindset and it's one of the best things that anybody can do for themselves. Yeah, I think that like you so there's two things I guess I want to I want to mention here is one is I'm curious what 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 are your own practices for staying positive? Um that would be interesting to know. Um and and then from there maybe we can talk about the 30 day challenge thing because this is a good it's a good time to talk about it a little bit because that's I feel like what you're talking about with tracking progress and accountability is like a really that's a great way to do it. Okay, so when it comes to being positive, and one of the first things I did, um, you know, back a couple of years ago, I was kind of in a similar situation where I had just lost, you know, one of my jobs and, you know, be back before I went all in with the fitness and everything, but I was unsure what I wanted to do with my life and just kind of like, man, I need, to, I need to make something happen. So I started, I woke up early one morning and was like, search, I got on YouTube and searched morning motivation. You know, and I was like, oh, man, I started watching videos before I knew who any of these self-development guys were. And now I know who all of them are, you know, (laughs) but I literally spent every single day for like a whole year straight listening to like 15 minutes of self-development, self-development, self-development. I switched out my music on my uh, radio for I mean, on the yeah, on the car radio for for audio books. And it's just the the way to get positive is to surround yourself with other people that are positive and other people that are going to push you. And hey, you know what? You think you had it hard. Well, guess what? I had it. I grew up like this, no father, you know, yeah. and you, you hear some of these positive people and you're like, man, I'm complaining like this guy, yeah, this no, dude, hands, yeah. this no dude, hands or whatever. Yeah, exactly. This dude got hit by a bus. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's still, and he's, yeah. and he's, he's riding a bike, like. <laughs> and that's, and that's the way, like, people are so, like, victimized and, like, always put the pity party on themselves and I got it so rough, but it's like, really? you just have to change that mindset. And the best thing you can do to change that mindset is, yeah, is, is work on self-development. There's, I mean, the average person maybe doesn't even read, doesn't spend any time on self-development, you know? Yeah. And that's one of the best things I tell people, okay, start off, spend 10 minutes a day. If you can't afford 10 minutes a day to work on yourself, you know, you need to do something about it. Yeah. Spend, start off with a little habit a day. You know, I always suggested first thing in the morning, you know, start off the day positive, start off the day getting those positive thoughts in your head, you know, and just motivated to do stuff that day and it'll lead to a like a, a long lasting successful day you know so just get in that habit of start starting to work on yourself daily whether it's more positivity whether it's building that belief in yourself yeah. you know you can do it whether it's fitness whether it's starting a business whatever it is when you have that belief in yourself nothing's going to stop you but you don't get that until you start hearing it over and over and over and the reason i'm so motivational and you know positive now is because i've heard so much of that yeah because it, it's become a part of who I am. So now I'm just kind of like writing the same thing and it becomes who you are because you've developed yourself. I really like that, man, because I think one of these quotes that I'm fond of is you're the average of the five people you hang out with most. And mm-hmm. I, that just lands with me so hard sometimes. And I think like that's why like the opportunity that I think we have now with, with social media and, and with the internet is that you know, you like I used, like, I found your shit, and you motivated me to get out and start doing stuff. That would not have happened if Instagram didn't exist. <laughs> you know what? And I always tell people one of the best things they could do too is, yes, yeah, start, start unfollowing all these people that are, you know, ne- start following all the negative people. If people are just, if you're trying to get, um, you know, your fitness under control, and you're part in following all these people that just party and they're out, you know, it's the wrong mind. You're surrounding yourselves with the wrong people. Yeah. If you want to make a change, like. For instance, you, okay, you want to start working on your fitness, well, surround yourself with a bunch of fitness people, people that are motivated. My whole social media is all people that, you know, are motivational speakers, you know, all these, all these big, you know, (laughs) self-development, all these big self-development guys, you know, they're hugely successful because that's motivating to me, you know, hearing all these guys. So every time I'm scrolling down my feed, I'm like, oh, here's a one minute video on, you know, overcoming this positivity. It's all, and that's what I'm constantly feeding myself instead of, oh, look at, you know, look at these butts or look at these boobs or look at these, you know, whatever on social media, you can actually use it to benefit yourself. Yeah. If you, if you start following people that are going to, 
you know, put better thoughts in your head and get you to think differently. That's a great dude. That's a great mindset. Honestly, like I think it's really good because it it truly it's it's funny because I I I should probably get back to listening to like Jocko Willink and guys like like I don't know if you listen to Jocko, but that guy is like I put put on some of that motivation. And I'm suddenly like, dude, I'm about to go. I'm gonna go flip a hum a Hummer, dude. <laughs> like, yeah, he's, he's like, he really, he really gets you in that mindset. So like, so for right now, if you want to talk about the 30 day challenge that you have going on, I feel like that would be really beneficial because you got another one coming up at the end of the month, and this will be posted before then. Yeah. So basically, with this 30 day challenge, we realize uh, me, and my, me and my girlfriend are doing it, but um, basically we realize. Hey, you know what? There's a lot of people right now that they don't know what to do from home. You know, the gym's gone. They have no clue what to do and they're letting go of their health and fitness. You know, they can't get motivated no more. They don't know what to do. And it's just like, we don't know. The thing is, we don't know how long this is going to last. Yeah. Like, you have to do something about it. You got to do something. You cannot just sit there and let your body, you know, just put on weight and everything like that. So we started this 30 day challenge. And what we, what we, what we realized people need the most, they need accountability. They need motivation and they need the guidance. You know, a lot of people, especially right now from home, they don't know what to do. So we launched this 30 day challenge and we said, Hey, we're going to work out with you guys. We do a, a once a week live workout, but then we also tell them, we also post videos in the, we have a private Facebook group basically. So we get everybody in a private Facebook group because one thing too is having that whole group of people that are all on the same fitness journey as you. It's very motivating for people being in that group environment plus the public accountability. We tell people, hey, on day one, let's take some before pictures and let us know what your goal is from 30 days from now. We want to know where you're going to be at 30 days from now, what you what you want to accomplish. So they put themselves out there. Hey, this is my before picture. This is where I want to be in 30 days. I want to feel better. I want to look better. You know, so we, we, we established that from the very very beginning. What are your goals? Yeah. Okay. Well now, well, now we are providing them with the workouts. We're keeping them motivated. We're posting tips in there all the time. Um, you know, and then if people have questions, you know, especially in the very beginning, they're asking us questions. We respond back to the questions. We've been doing a live question and answering on Friday where we get on live and answer a lot of the questions kind of face to face like this. But the biggest thing is, too, every Friday we get on and hold them accountable. OK, how much workouts did you do this week? How did the workouts go? Were they too easy? Were they yeah. too hard? What do you need help with? And it's crazy to see, you know, these people are loving this challenge. They, I got a text this morning from a guy. He's lost seven pounds. Another another girl, six pounds. Another guy. And. We decided, you know what? We need to keep this going. You know, these people are on a fitness journey. The, the thing is, they have everything they need right now to keep them going. So we need to keep it going. So June first, we're gonna. It's gonna be month two for some people, month one for some for other people. You know, we're gonna be inviting more people because I would love to turn this into a big community where it's a bunch of people all after the same goal. You know, we're all here to support each other. We're all here to help you feel better, look better, push you. I mean, there's such a times where people are struggling. Oh man, I couldn't get motivated. This girl's like, oh, man, I can relate. You know, I was in the same position. And everyone's motivating each other. Everyone's pushing each other. Everyone's doing it together. Yeah. You know, and that's that, that, That's what's so awesome about it. They have that support. It's fun because everyone, because they're surrounding themselves with people on the same goal. Yeah, yeah. You know, they're all focused on the same thing. It becomes this, like, team exactly. of people. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. And they love it. You know, they love it. They're, they're tagging me in their workouts. To work. They just finished their workout for the day. And, you know, they just... It's just a really great environment. And plus, the biggest thing is people are seeing results. People are changing their lives. People are making themselves better. So we're going to keep it going, like I said. And then June 1st, we're going to be starting again. Okay, day one. Well, this is where you were at the beginning of last month. Okay, well, this is where you're at. Plus, like I had one guy, he, he rolled his ankle. So he was out for a couple of weeks. So, it's, okay, here's a, new, here's a brand new fresh start. You know, you might have slipped up. And that's the thing with fitness, too. You know, sometimes stuff's going to happen. Life gets in the way. People lose their job. You know, stuff like this happens. Yeah. But you just have to pick it up. You cannot let. You just have to, okay, let's get it refocused. Okay, let's start again. Let's get back on it. You know, it's never too late to get started on a health and fitness journey. So we're going to keep it going, and we're going to be getting started again June 1st. You, I, I want to touch on two things then that you said in that also, which is like one is you posted about this the other day. Uh, you posted why people hit their – I think why people – can't lose weight can lose weight versus can't lose weight and there was a bunch of like two there was like two columns and a whole bunch of stuff in it and one of the things that you mentioned in it was uh one mistake turns into like six seven eight nine 
And that was like calling it a fitness journey kind of makes sense because it is something like, look, I mean, like we're all going, to, everybody is deprived of having a gym right now. <laughs> like, like nobody can have one. You know what I mean? Maybe for one guy, it's a rolling his ankle. Maybe for another person, it's like they were, they passed a Krispy Kreme and had to, and just like ate six donuts. Like I don't, whatever it is, you know what I mean? It's like something for somebody, but like, being able to get right back on and and be like, you know what, I'm not letting this stop me. I'm I'm co- I'm staying committed to this. That I feel like that's like a main. That's like a big. That that's a huge thing right there. That level of commitment and like just accepting that like these things happen and moving past them. Well, and that's why I love the group and environment because here's what happens, especially when people are new to their fitness journey and they're you know they're making these changes. If they have one slip up they beat themselves up so much. Oh my God, I messed up. Like I missed one workout this whole month. Like, Oh my God. Like it was a horrible week. You only um, missed one. Like, yeah, I'm like, I'm like, we're on day 21 and you've only missed one day and you're beating yourself up for it. Like you need to stop that, you know? And that's one of the things, like you just said, okay, someone, someone has one bad meal. Well, instead of just, you know, okay, well I had one bad meal. Let's let's pick it up and get right, right back on track. Oh man, I, I screwed it up. I, I, I effed up. Okay, I'm going to have another bad meal, another bad meal. There goes my fitness journey. There goes my fitness goal. And they're so hard on themselves and they let themselves go. So, like you said, slip up happen. It's okay to be, to not be 100% perfect all the time. You got to realize, okay, snap back in. Let's get started again. Let's get back to it on Monday. And Mikey talked about it. It's that, it's that journey. And I had one girl this morning or uh, on, on her last conversation, she was saying that, you know, she had, she had, She's the one. She oh, she missed one day of work workout. She only got four instead of five. She had a rough day, but but one thing she said is she didn't emotional eat. You know that was huge for her. Usually she goes through these when she gets stressed out and uh, gets these emotions flowing. And stuff. Her her past self would have emotionally ate. You know, people make themselves feel better with food and all that stuff. But she she realized it and she didn't. So I, I was very proud of her. That's hey, huge. That's don't, a don't that's work. a huge yeah. win. Yeah. Yeah, just. You, you you built a new habit, you know. You you're you're dealing with situation a situation that you would have dealt with way worse back in the day. And look at you now, you know. You missed one workout, don't sweat it. Look at the habit you made. You know, I'm proud of you for taking control of your health and fitness and staying staying the course, even though you were emotional that day. You did it emotionally and you stuck to the course, and that's you know I was happy to hear that. I think that for as I get older, I feel like one of the things that occurs to me is like with any with anything, uh, it. It, it, you have to like recommit. It's like you have to recommit every day to something where like it's just as easy to wake up and go, all right, I'm done with doing this or I'm or you like you you have to you have to think about it as a practice or something like this, which is why I yeah. think this this challenge like works so well is because it it's not a it's like a, th- a 30 day period of time. And then when you break it up into weeks and you had described this to me before the show, uh, you should probably you should probably describe again how the how the challenge like works, because um, it, it, it sound, it makes so much sense to me where like, when you start chunking these things, you're like, well, this isn't that it, it's not like a forever. It's just for today, for right now, for this week, you know what I mean? For this month. And it suddenly becomes like digestible for people who otherwise aren't normally used to this kind of fitness. And that's exactly what it is. You cannot be thinking, man, I got to lose 30 pounds. It's going to take me six months. That's the wrong mindset. You got to be taking it day by day. Hey, this week I got in four workouts. This week I got in five workouts. This week I ate great. You know, one of the things that I always ask my clients is, okay, on a scale of one to 10, how good did you eat this week? How much workouts did you get in this week? Okay, well, let's improve on that next week. Okay, next week, let's try to get in five workouts. Let's try to make that five or seven on your eating. And we're improving every single week. In the very beginning, people are making lifestyle changes. One of the first things I tell people is get all the junk food out of your house so it's out of sight, out of mind. Start building better habits, you know, going from not having any discipline with your food to this crazy diet where you're restricting everything, it's, it's zero to 100. Yeah. One, of the thing, one of the things I always like, you know, start making those gradual habits, start making little habits, stop snacking, you know, learn what to do. I posted a video on snacking too. Learn what to do to, to start um, developing, to build better habits, you know, learn to get rid of the junk food, learn to you know, track your calories, learn to stop eating this, and build those better habits and, you know, on it every single week you know you got to really take it day by day track your progress and okay this week i did this good okay well next week let's improve on that you know with our accountability one girl was like i only worked out two days this week two days really what went on let's step it up next week let's get to five days next week the next week she hit five days you know sometimes it just takes a little talking to them 
it just because it, sometimes it's fitness. People have established these bad habits, these lazy habits where it's yeah. easy just to forget about it until they got someone saying, "You only did two workouts this week. What's going on with you? Come on, get off your ass, step it back up." Next week she got in five. Sometimes they just need that push, you, you know. Just one, yeah, you just need you need just need JJ Velasquez talking. To you. <laughs> Yo, what? You only did what? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hey, it works though, you know, and that's and sometimes you just people need that. They need that push because they're used to. They're used to obviously the way they are now is because they've been living and they've been listening to themselves and letting themselves control themselves. And sometimes people don't have that own self discipline, so you need someone to kind of push you and lead you in the right direction. Well, you, I mean, like you said, and you say, you say this on Instagram a lot. It's like you're, that is all begins with like the positive mindset or like positive self-talk. Like you posted the other day about how important positive self-talk was. And, and that, I think that resonated with me because I was, I mean, we've talked about positivity a little bit already, but, but that's where this comes from is that these are people who they're running a script in their head. And that script is saying things like, it doesn't matter. It's not good enough. It doesn't matter. And like, it does, like it does matter. But if you really believe it doesn't matter because you're just stuck at your home in coronavirus, then like, why? Then maybe you, it's okay if you go, you know, eat an entire pie to yourself or something or like, or so, whatever. But like, when you start noticing that that stuff, that, that script changes, that's why a guy, like a trainer actually makes sense is because having somebody going like, Hey, look, I'm noticing that it matters. I'm telling you that it matters. Well, so and let me tell you where that conversation in that video got started from. So one of my new clients, she just joined this month um, and she was, you know, really struggling. She, you know, she was in, in very good shape with, you know, when the gym was around and then she noticed, man, I've gained like five pounds. I can't do it on my own. I need help. So she reached out to me and I started coaching her. And with my weekly accountability, I said, okay, how did your week of workouts go? Uh, it was okay. I only got in two workouts. Like I, I'm, I gained weight. Like I hate my legs. I said, you know what? Let's get on a phone call. I got on a phone call with her that, that day, about a half hour later. Okay, the first thing you need to do is you need to stop beating yourself up. You need to stop the negative self-talk, telling yourself you hate your legs, telling yourself you've gained five pounds, you know, that you hate yourself. You need to stop that right away. Start being positive. You're on the right track. You have me. You have the guidance you need. I got everything for you. Just follow the plan. Let's stick with it. You know, are you working on your mindset? Are you working on self-development? Well, yeah, you know, I used to go to these Tony Robbins things back in the day and your mindset started changing. You know what? I just need to start getting in the habit again. I need to start working out in the morning. She started telling me what she needed to do and what yeah. she was going to do. And then I followed up with her this morning. She got in five workouts. Bang. You know, yeah. you went from two to five because, and it's just all that mindset shift. Yeah. Okay. You realize how important this is to you. You realize what you need to do to get you there. And you got to realize why, why are you beating yourself up so much? You'll get back, you'll get back to where you were. It's not better have everything you need now let's not look at it at where you used to be let's look at where you're gonna be you I know, love that. It's, it's made, made tremendous progress. There is even, I think my, uh, so I'm, my degrees in philosophy, I'm a philosopher, but Aristotle even talks about, he's like the way to change is to focus on the world you're creating, not the world you're trying to leave behind. And you're like, this makes, that makes so much sense. Uh, where can, let me ask you this. Where can people find out about the thir the next 30 day challenge if they want to, if they want to try to get involved? Yeah. So, th I mean, the best way would be just to find me on Instagram, JJ, the fitness coach. Yep. You know, I work we're always posting about it there. Of course, the private Facebook group, it's, it's something that we have to add people into, you know, when they, when they join. So I would say, um, we're going to actually launch it. We're going to start launching the, the enrollee, their enrollee page and everything this week. So the best way is, you know, we're going to be talking about it all week. We're going to be sharing all our, all the before and afters of the 30 day challenge, you know, to get people to realize like what can, what can be accomplished in 30 days and, you know, to get people motivated about it and everything. So the best way would be to, you know, find me on Instagram and I'll be posting the details for it. And, uh, we'll get that going June 1st. I'll have the links in the, I'll have the link in the show notes also. Um, I wanted to ask you, so in terms of your fitness journey, man, how did you get to a place? Like, where did you, have you always been involved with like, uh, with, with trying to stay fit or, I mean, like, it's kind of a weird question, I suppose, because everybody goes through different phases and stuff, but I'm curious kind of how you got to be in the place that you're in now. It's crazy because I was actually just about to make this post, but um, it was me, you know, maybe like five or six years ago on Memorial Day. Because every Memorial Day, I used to always party. You know, I'd go out with the party friends and we'd go on the boat and we'd drink and stuff. And you should see my body back then compared <laughs> to now, you know. And it's like, so no, I was once there. I used to be overweight. You know, I used to party a lot, have fun. 
But then one day I was like, man, like I just was, I didn't like this role I had. I had like a role. And I'm like, what is this? I'm like, okay, you know what? I need to change that. I need to do something about this. So then I started working on my fitness and, you know, it's just been, it's just been a journey. And like, and like you mentioned earlier, you're always going to go through these stages of work, needing to motivate yourself again. And there's been times where I've been super big. There's been times where I've been super ripped. You know, there's been times where I've been super strong. There's been times where I've been lean and healthy. You know, you go through these different phases of what you want to be and what's motivating. But the thing that now is I've established healthy habits. I've established fitness as a lifestyle for me. You know, I'm always out being active, eating good. And now I just want to help spread that, you know, spread the positivity and spread my journey to help other people you know, that maybe are kind of going through the same thing. They don't know where to start. You know, they're unhappy with their body and they need to get started. And it's just like, if I can do it, you can do it. You know, that's what I always say. Yeah. I think that uh, I it's just is interesting, man. That like <laughs> I think it's because it doesn't have to be. It's funny, like it can just be a moment where like you're trying to put on like a pair of pants and you're like, oh shit, <laughs> like I gotta go back out and start doing some ab workouts, man, or something. It, like any one of those moments can like trigger somebody to be like, oh, I need to get back. I need to take control of this again. <laughs> well, and here's the thing too. It, there's always that part of people that want to look better. You know, I want to feel better, more confident myself at the beach or for my girlfriend or i'm single and i want to you know get girls or whatever it is there's always that part of it but where i come from too is i used to be emt i used to be in the medical field so i would see what would happen to people that didn't take care of themselves mm -hmm. long term people with diabetes high blood pressure overweight mm -hmm. obesity you know, everything that comes out taking care of your body so that's why i've always been so passionate and passionate about helping people because i hate to see I, like I've seen so much horrible things from people losing limbs because they can't control their food, you know, diabetes, they'd rather get a leg chopped off than clean up their diet. It's crazy to me, you know, but it's just like, I've seen what happens to people that let go of their health and their fitness. So it's always been a passion of mine to be like, Hey, wake up, snap out of that. This is what's going to happen. You need to get your life together. You need to get, you know, your health and your fitness together, especially if you have kids, you want to be around with your kids for a oh, while. Yeah, don't totally. you? you know, there's so much things that, you know, what, looking good and feeling good is one thing, but your health benefits and everything like that, too, that's a whole nother topic. So both those reasons are why I'm so passionate about fitness. Yeah, and it's it, – dude, I think one of the reasons I, I dig your Instagram, and I, I again, like everybody should go follow you at JJ the Fitness Coach, is that it, it it's so genuine, man. Like it comes off – so there's a lot of people like this <laughs> – this again, what I'm about to say – I, if it sounds a little bit, it's not, it does not apply to you. So I'm sorry if it sounds shitty, but there's a lot of posts that you make that if literally anybody else posted them, I'd be like, oh, this guy or something. You know what I mean? Where it's like, there's so many people who are on Instagram who are posting stuff that's like, like, uh, oh, I'm like a fucking hot ass, you know, man, woman, whatever. I'm in the gym. Look at me doing like, like there's this one, there's this one chick. I, I share this with my girlfriend. She, she teaches yoga. She's a yoga instructor. She refuses to like put any of her like yoga positions or yoga stuff like on Instagram for like this exact reason. She's like, I just don't want to be one of these people who just adds to this like level of like, look how cute I am doing, you know, yoga. And it's so funny though, because yours are so genuine that it's like, I'm like, dude, he just, he, 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 he means everything he's saying. And like it, and that's, I think why I found them motivating is cause it's like, you really do have a passion for this. And when people find that stuff, I think it's like, it's, it's totally authentic. Well, and like I said too, because sometimes people, sometimes I'm very, you know, kind of a little bit harsh or whatever, cause sometimes people need that wake up call. Yeah. They need to realize that you need to take care of your health and your fitness. This is what's going to happen. If you don't, you got to stop your current habits. So sometimes I need to be that kind of harsh guy, yeah. but it's because I care. It's because I care. And it's because, like I said, if you don't change where you're at, yeah, dude, you want to be you around have for your a kids. lot worse things. <laughs> yes. You could have so much things, you know, you know, happen in the, in the end when they don't take care of themselves. You know, I, I, I talked to some of these girls too. They don't, they don't feel beautiful inside. You know, they're depressed and stuff. They're overweight. You know, they're unhappy with themselves. You You mean to tell me you're living your life unhappy because you won't do anything about it. Like to me, that stuff gets to me and I'm like, let's go, let's make that change. Let's get you that happiness. Let's get, let's do what it takes to get you feeling better, to get you feeling beautiful. Cause that's what you deserve. Yeah. And then I think that especially when you start feeling, I noticed just in my own life, like when you start, when you start feeling bad about yourself, you start accepting things that you would not accept if you thought that you were, you start accepting relationships you shouldn't accept. You start accepting job situations and opportunities that you shouldn't be accepting. You know what I mean? And I think especially like getting getting a sense of because because 
fitness is something you can control and focus on. I actually was just talking to a friend of mine about this earlier today, actually. Because because you can directly control whether or not you're like, I'm going to get up and go running, or I'm going to do 10 push-ups, or I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the workout. Because you do have so much control over whether or not you do that, it, it almost like spreads to the rest of your life. Because like once you get into that habit you in that mindset you start being like okay i'm gonna do i'm now i'm gonna go write the book i've been talking about for you know two years or whatever yeah you establish this uh, you, you discipline in yourself you know you learn to discipline yourself hey i'm gonna do this one thing i love about fitness is sometimes you're, you're lifting heavy weights and it's like oh man this is hard this runs hard but when you push through it you just like Man, that that shit was hard, but I still got it. Feels through it feels so without... good. It feels so good. Yeah. Like if you do, like I did the first time I ever did, uh, I broke two hundred pounds in my clean and jerk at a CrossFit, which is like a, this is a while ago. One of my jokes in my stand up, I'm a stand up comic by the way. I should tell you, I um, one of my jokes in my stand up act is I'm like I do CrossFit because I'm I'm a comedian already. I'm halfway to being an asshole. I might as well just finish the race. <laughs> um, but the first time I ever did a clean and jerk with two hundred pounds. It felt it felt so good that there was some, I w- it was hard. I worked on it. I got it there. Like and even I think in the middle of a workout, like if I'm doing something and I'm like if I'm doing let's say like a I, I know a workout that's like ten rounds of whatever, like you know like I'm like so I'm doing a Tabata workout or I'm doing something that's like a certain amount of time. If I'm halfway through it and I'm like this sucks, <laughs> I got like halfway more of it to go, and I gotta like figure out how to get myself through it. And then when you finish it, you're like. I, that, like that lesson stays with you, you know, you can take that to like other places. Yeah. You developed, you had a situation that was tough, but you pushed through it. Yeah. You know, you got through it, you got through it anyways. And that establishes confidence, you know, trust. Yeah. Yes. All all that that type of stuff. So that's why I'm huge, huge on, you know, people are just working on their fitness for their confidence or yeah. Like you said, you're, you're, you're being productive. You're doing something good for yourself to make yourself feel better. It does so much good things for your mind and, Everything, you know. So let me ask you this. So if people who are in the situation with, you know, coronavirus right now, if you're living in a, in a metro area, you still can't really go outside and do too much. Like what are some exercises? What are some things that you've been thinking about or having, uh, keeping in mind for like people to, uh, to maybe do uh, that they could do in their own apartments or maybe just kind of outside in like the park or something? So here's the thing, especially when it comes to fat loss, there's so much you can do with just your body weight. Mm. Half, the, half, half the people in our 30 day challenge, you know, it's all body weight exercises. We have, it's either all body weight or with, with a pair of dumbbells. That's all we ever use for all our workouts because with fat loss, it's all about getting the heart rate up. Mm. And you know, I, and you're using all your big muscle groups, you're using your legs, your chest, your back, and you're in a circuit. So when you're using all your big muscle groups, you're burning a lot more calories compared to just a little bit of running here and there. It's just using your legs. Or you're just walking. So it's all, it takes about a half an hour. They're all uh, less than 30 minute workouts, but it's back to back to back, to back um, you know, exercises and then a rest. Mm. So kind of like a circuit. So we'll do like a, we'll do some jump squats, you know, followed by push ups, followed by, you know, planks. Yeah. Okay. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Then you rest. Then you repeat that for round two, repeat that for round three. And then we move to three different exercises, you know, and it's always cycling between upper body, um, lower body, but, like I said, there's so much exercise that you can do without equipment. There's tons of stuff on YouTube. I mean, I got tons of stuff on my channel. You can find free information anywhere. You can find something to do with that, no equipment. You know, there's plenty of people just like me, if not me, that know what to do. You just have to you have to go look for it. You can't be like, oh, I don't have a gym now. I guess I'm just going to get out of way. I don't know yeah. what to do. You don't know what to do. Well, go on YouTube because go find millions. Workout this is do. so especially jump squats man like i did uh that's what one part of the workout i did yesterday was between uh between uh the the uh, bench stuff and i i also did some jump like five sets of jumps 30 jump squats and like my, it burned dude after 10 in and you want to give up like it's so i don't I, you know I, it doesn't matter who you are like if you if you try to do 30 jump squats you're gonna you're gonna feel it like <laughs> Oh, these workouts kick my ass too. You yeah. know, they're they're good. They're high intensity, but I mean, you're you're building muscle at the same time. I and mean, when we do dips on the chair, you know, we do push ups, we do abs, we do back stuff, um, leg stuff. You're, so you're you're building muscle as well as burning fat. So, like I said, there's there's like my famous line: there's no excuses. You know, yeah. you got plenty of time right now, especially if you're not working, especially if you're in this quarantine. 
you have no excuses. What you lack is either the motivation, the guidance, or the accountability. Yeah, you're. Uh, you should get that on a t- on a shirt, man. <laughs> I know, I've thought about it. I've thought about no it. Excuses, dude. <laughs> it's just would... my mantra, man. I I just dig into people with, when people start giving me excuses because it's never good enough for me. Because I, for people to say, "Oh, I wish I could, but I have no time." Really? Because I know people that have nine to five, go to school, and got kids, and work twelve hour days, and still make. Time. Yeah, it's just an excuse to make yourself feel better. Yeah. Oh, I wish I could if I had the time. Okay, well, you you can wake up earlier. You can go on your lunch break. You can find a half hour. You find a half hour for Netflix. Like it's always. It's just excuses are really hard to get by with me because I know it's just a way to make yourself feel better. Yeah, dude, I I love that man. Like it's just you. I mean, I, like until you're literally until you literally have no like literally you're working twenty hours a day or something that's come on man like hey you got some time i like this phrase I, I think about this a lot actually i think about this phrase it goes uh if you don't have 10 minutes to meditate you should be meditating for 30 minutes like if you don't have <laughs> if you don't have 10 minutes you should actually be making more time <laughs> yes exactly and it's not about finding the time it's about making the time every time i get a notification from my phone weekly jj that's like uh, this week you spent two hours, uh, two hours and 30 minutes on screen time. I'm like, ah, oh, come on. Like, this is so like, yep. if I have two, two hours and 30 minutes a week to spend on looking at my freaking phone, like I have, I should have time to actually go do some like workouts and stuff. <laughs> Everyone has time. But like I said, it's just that it's just that you don't want to do it. You don't know what to do, or you don't have someone pushing you. And it's just like, yeah, it's just, it goes back into the mindset again. Do you really want it? Are you going to make it happen? You know, and just get rid of, get, getting rid of those excuses. Dude, I, I, uh, I really appreciate you making time to do this, man. And like, uh, uh, we should, we should, uh, we should actually, what would be cool is having you back maybe at the end of June to talk about what that cohort of the 30 days was and like how those people did and stuff. That's pretty cool. I think it's, where did that idea come from? I mean, did you like, did where, what was the genesis of that idea? Because it's such a good one. So like I said, my girlfriend's big into health and fitness too. She's actually a cancer survivor. So she's big on the nutrition side and she learned all this stuff and she beat cancer naturally. So, you know, we care about people's health and fitness and everything like that. So she just kind of randomly a couple months ago was like, hey, I'm going to do a 30 day challenge. And she just kind of randomly did it. Like, obviously she she did it differently. She just kind of was like, hey, let's make a 30 day challenge and let's just start working on her fitness. So people were signing up for the gym for the first time and everything like that. Some guy was doing push-ups every hour, you know, and she, she gave a little cash prize at the end to the winner, to the top three transformations or whatever. But what, what she didn't really do is she didn't provide no guidance. She didn't tell them what workouts to do or anything yeah. like that. So I, I, was, I was involved, you know, giving fitness tips here and there. But I was like, let's do this challenge even better. Let's get we – see, we've seen that lots of people are interested. Well, let's provide the guidance that people need so they can see the results. Let's hold them accountable so they can stick with it all month. And so we, let's do it right. So this is our this last month we did all that and it's been it's been great man. Yeah, that's amazing, man. How many people do you have a cap on how many people you'll accept into the program for for June? No, no, because it's basically we do it all as, as a group environment where we you know we post the workouts. Here's the workouts you can do, and then you know we get on live and we answer questions, and then pretty soon as people have been in it, people learn this stuff and they could answer the questions for people too. Like I said, it's a big group of people that are all helping people, yeah. you know, stay motivated all on the same path. But it's just like, I want to grow it huge, you know, hundreds of thousands yeah, or whatever. I, th- I think it's, I think it's possible because I think especially the way that it's chunked, the time is chunked, I think makes so much sense where like you can easily, and because you're with this group of people, you can constantly keep checking in on each other and, and all of this kind of thing. Like, I think this, I think it's really awesome. Um, and everyone's at everyone's at their own stage in life. You know, some people they want to lose ten pounds. Some people want to lose fifty pounds. Some people just need a little bit of guidance. Some people just like it because it's a group environment. You know, there's different reasons. Everybody's on their own fitness journey. But yeah, having that whole group of people surrounding themselves and supporting and being around the people that are going to push you and motivate you and everything, it's great. That's cool, man. Um, well, thank you again for dropping by, dude. I um, I will link it in the show notes that the at JJ, the fitness coach on Instagram, um, where else can people find you or follow your stuff? So I'm also on YouTube, uh, youtube.com JJ Velasquez 44, the URLs, whatever. But, uh, yeah, you can search for me. I got a bunch of, I got a, I actually have some of our um, workouts that we've done, some of our live workouts that we do for our, our clients. 
posted on there. There's workouts you can do from home. I got a 20 minute fat burning workout with no equipment. It's a killer. People love it. Um, I, I recorded it in the park one of the first weeks the quarantine went down. You know, you could jump on these videos. There's, there's, you could follow this workout. I'm literally in the video coaching you, pushing you, motivating you. You know, so there's tons of stuff on that. We got tips on mindset, you know, all kinds of stuff on YouTube as well. So I'm just trying to help uh, as much people as I can. So yeah, YouTube, Instagram, JJ, the fitness coach, Twitter. I mean, all that stuff. But I'm, awesome. I'm mostly active on uh, Instagram and uh, YouTube. I'll link, I'll link them in the show notes and, uh, and point people in the direction, man, because uh, I, I just want to say like, like, you know, I mean, I, anybody who knows me knows that I've done, I've been you know, into fitness for a long time. And, uh, but honestly, man, I found it super motivating, especially in this circumstance. And to, to, it caught, like I said earlier, it caused me to be like, all right, I'm going to the, I'm going to the park and I'm going to do a, he, he did five workouts on the bench. Like I got, I can't, I need to get out of this apartment. Like, and, and now I feel <laughs> exactly. like my triceps are going to fall off, dude. It was great. Nice, it was a really nice. good one. Awesome. So, uh, I, I appreciate it. And, uh, and I, I hope, uh, hopefully you get some people who want to, who message you about joining the program from, from this video and, uh, and this, and this audio, if you're listening to this on, on Apple podcasts. So, uh, thank you so much, JJ. Uh, take it easy, man. And, uh, I appreciate you taking the time. Yeah, man. Thanks for having me on. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Thanks so much for listening to the Madness Continues podcast. Once again, this is Brendan Lemon. If you liked what you listened to, please take a minute to like, to subscribe, to give us a rating. It really does mean a difference. I say us like there's more than one person doing this. Uh, it's just me, everybody. So every little bit of support you can lend would be really appreciated by me. If you want to share this podcast, it would really, really, really mean a lot to me. I hope you come back. I hope you listen and check out the other podcast I produce, Funny Planet, where we talk to different comedians from all over the world about what they're doing and how they are funny in their own cultures. You can learn a thing or two and you'll have a laugh too. Anyway, take care. Take it easy. We'll see you here next time. <laughs>